Thank you. So I'm Dr. Lippert with Riot Cosmetics, where we are innovating beauty with science. So you know what's awesome? Gorgeous, sexy hair. People love having nice, sexy hair. Women love it. Even men love it nowadays. You know what's not awesome? Disgusting, nasty, greasy hair. No one wants to look like this, right? So what do we do? Obviously, we take a shower. Get all the oil out of your hair, it looks nice. But this takes a lot of time. You gotta get naked, hop in the shower. Some women don't have you know, a half hour every day. They want to get up, go, and look awesome. So maybe you need powder. I know people try this. I tried it. It works great in blonde hair, but if you've got dark hair, it can leave you know, nasty powder. Dry shampoo, quick and easy, but it leaves residue. You still have to brush it out. It's just makes your hair kind of feel gross. So what I have done is taking some super oil absorbent material, combine it with a natural hair brush, and what I call currently a little shampoo brush. So a little brush, you just brush your hair and it removes the excess oil on your hair. So it's like drain shampoo, but that's it. That's a hassle. You guys can take a look at this if you want. So we do is take the bristles, coat up this material, and just soak up that oil. So now it's like a shower and a brush. Um, the beauty care market is absolutely huge. Um, I'm sure women know that they spend a lot of money on these types of products. Um, so in a top-down approach, um, we're getting more down in this little area. We're still in multi-billion dollar markets. What's really nice is this is sort of a double dip type market. Just because you buy shampoo doesn't mean you're not gonna buy dry shampoo. People use both. And about 20% of people that use shampoo also use dry shampoo. So this is really nice. You can dip into all different kinds of categories. Um, so we thought we had an awesome product, but what I think doesn't really matter. It's what all you guys think and our customers think. So we went and made a fake website to try to go ahead and you know start to sell it and see if anybody else likes it. So we went and said, who wants to be part of our little beta test? You know, for fifty dollars, we'll ship you this awesome product. Um, it's only been on the web for a few months, not a few months, and we've already gotten a few hundred people trying to print their credit card information and pay us money for a product they've never even seen. Right? And this is you know, fifty dollars for a brush. And we got this number by went and talking to a lot of people, probably around one hundred and fifty <coughs> people, asking them how much you paid for this product. And the other person was saying between thirty and fifty. You know, if it works like you say it does. So even with the high end, people are still trying to buy those products without ever seeing it or even hearing any ad or anything. So to take it one step farther, we went and took our part prototype, put it in a little package with the target, and just put it on the shelf and judging for a while. We've talked about 60 women at the aisle, and 58 actually walked away trying to buy this product. We had to chase them down, get it back, and tell them you can't buy it. And then we had to kick out the target. So, <laughs> so there's a lot of people who like this. So that's awesome. Like this, this move forward this. Um, but what's even better is not just can we sell your product, we can also own you digitally by taking that oil in your hair and analyzing it with a 23andMe style model. Tell you what's in your hair oil, what compositions, and what that means for you. So do you need shampoo A or shampoo B? Is there a difference? Do you need dangerous shampoo? Maybe, maybe not. So if we can get all this types of data and components of your hair oil and tell you specifically you need this type of product, or you need this type of product, or you might get this kind of condition, dermatitis, dangerous, et cetera. So now we can own you this type of product and digitally. So where did we come from? This is a kind of new idea. We just got this idea about a year ago. Quickly went made prototypes, patented it, and talked to a lot of people. And we're currently going through negotiations with a cosmetics companies in LA and a uh, hair dye brush manufacturing company in Canada who really want to license this technology. Um, but I'm going to use this more as a, a power play to leverage against investors. I don't really want to license this at all. I want to build it myself, sell it myself, etc. cetera. Um, the NASCAR slide. But I said it's not quite as simple as this because it's not like we're trying to steal shampoo thunder, nothing else is going to be like a supplemental product, an additive, it's not a replacement for shampoo. But it's going to be really hard to kind of beat these big players here. Um, so there's going to be some challenges there. Team, I'm a PhD chemist. Um, I developed this the technology. I'm starting to be a serial entrepreneur. Um, these two fellows here are really the ones hustling behind it, making those calls, meeting the contacts. My wife is an HR and commercialization expert. Um, Kumar is a very successful, su successful entrepreneur, a Ycom um, alum. He's had multiple successful startups as well as a few that were great learning experiences. Um, of course, we've got some advisors, people that really know this market very well, people that can give advice, legal advice, and have great contacts. Um, so what do we need? Obviously, we need money. We've got a product. We've got to build it. We've got to manufacture it. Um, and you know, I'm not a beauty care person, we need mentors and people that know this market even better than I do, no manufacturing, no supply chain, no logistics, etc. So I'll be happy to answer any questions. Thank you.